The first mention of North Sentinel Island was in 1771 when British surveyor John Ritchie saw lights on the island, but he didn't investigate, so the island and its people stayed hidden until 1867 when an Indian merchant ship called Nineveh wrecked on its shores. After a few days, while waiting for help, the survivors were attacked by a group of Sentinelese people. The captain noted that they carried iron-tipped arrows shortly before he escaped in a small boat. He was later picked up by a rescue party along with the survivors who survived by throwing sticks and stones at the Sentinelese. For the next 13 years, they were left alone until 1880 when a British colonist officer Maurice Vidal Portman led an expedition to the island. Portman's men captured six people, an elderly man, a woman, and four children. The man and woman died of illness shortly after getting captured and the children began to fall ill as well. They then sent children back to the island with a large number of gifts in an attempt to establish friendly relations. 